What up, YouTube? Life of Rude Dude, back with another video today. Hope everybody is doing well. Remember, health is well. Please take care of yourself. If you have not done so yet, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Also, hit that notification button so you're notified each and every time I drop a video. Let's go. All right, y'all. Today, we got a crazy topic. If you didn't believe iRobot was real or based on true events and technology that's going on in this world currently today, you've been mistaken. Take a look at this video. The Internet of Bodies, or IOB, is, um, is actually an ecosystem. It's a bunch of devices that are connected to the Internet that contain software and that either collect personal health data about you or can alter the body's function. We think of the Internet of Bodies as this collection of all these devices as well as all the data that the devices are gathering about you. And in healthcare, it's Internet of Bodies has, has been around for quite a while. With the advent of the internet, it makes a lot of sense to connect your pacemaker to the internet so that your doctor can be automatically notified if, if something weird happens, if there's an anomaly. According to AI experts, brain implants could make learning obsolete in less than 20 years. Instead of reading textbooks or going to school to gather information, we'll have devices in our brains that download information on demand. That may sound like a lot to achieve by 2040, but based on where current technology is, AI expert Nicholas Karanos says the timeline isn't out of reach. Perhaps one of the most well-known brain implant companies is Elon Musk's Neuralink. The company's ultimate goal is to merge computers with the human brain so that human intelligence can keep pace with advancements in artificial intelligence. Neuralink uses threads in the brain connected to a 4mm chip called the N1. The company recently released a video that appeared to show a 9-year-old monkey equipped with the N1 chip operating a game of Pong using his mind. The N1 chip is just the first step for Neuralink. The team is also developing Neural Lace, a brain-computer interface technology. The ultra-thin mesh will be inserted via a tiny needle and encompass the brain. The goal of Neural Lace is to enable humans to upload and download information directly from a computer, much like Neo in the Matrix. Mindex is another brain implant company that aims to create a look-and-think interface for next-generation spatial computing applications. Users will be able to interact with computers using smart glasses that link with the human brain. The glasses will let wearers access information with a single thought. No more rummaging for your phone to Google a burning question. This is all just the beginning. There's a long way to go with this technology before we all have the option to get chipped and many hurdles to overcome. It is the first chip implanted into the human brain that directly links the human brain with the hard drive of a physical computer without a wire, without a cable. We have the biology that allows us to do Already, we have this, what those chips are allowing us to do. When we learn to access these mirror neurons in a very specific way, we have super learning. I do this personally. I mean, we can learn very, very quickly. As I've heard Elon talk about, he said the problem now, well, maybe not the problem, maybe the good part, according to you, is bandwidth. Because we have our thumbs to get the information from our brain into this this network, this internet platform. And so Elon is proposing that we jack up that bandwidth yeah. and get all of the download and interaction between us and this super computing, super interconnected network around the world and then take ourselves to that next level. And so I think Elon is a proponent or he's just saying it's going to happen, so let's make it happen. Yeah, and he's I, he's just saying, let's go right. with the flow. This is where it's going. Right. I, I'm not sliding Elon Musk. He is a, a, of a different generation than we are. Uh, he's an entrepreneur, he's done amazing things, he sees potential, and he says, let's explore this potential. And so he probably is accelerating the evolution, wherever that evolution is gonna go, we have to make a choice now, where we didn't have to make it five years ago. Now we have to choose, are we going to follow this path? All right, folks, you guys saw that video. Comment below, let me know what you think. Two choices right now, convert or get left behind. What are you gonna do? One thing to take into consideration right now, the information that we're getting about technology most likely is old. 
they probably had this information or this technology, I should say, for years, five to 10 years now, is being rolled out to us because they've already mastered this and they're on to the next level, whatever it is they're doing. It's getting crazy. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Life of Rude Dude and Rude's Pecan Candy CO. Please be on the lookout for that Motivated Millionaire LLC merch t-shirts on the Remember health as well. Take care of yourself. Going to a million.